So we're going to be doing three investigations and we're going to be working with this little jab applet. First thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be pushing our shaggy dog. Now you don't have to use a shaggy dog. We're going to be observing the relationship between mass and the normal force. The normal force is shown in the free body diagram. So there I've got 50 kilograms. I'm going to measure that vector. I've got 100 kilograms. I'm going to measure the vector. I've got 200 kilograms. I'm going to measure the vector. I'm going to record my results in a table and maybe make a graph and answer the questions about the investigation. All right, for the second investigation, what we're actually going to see is the relationship between the coefficient of static friction and the minimum amount of applied force it takes to move that dog. So I've got a coefficient of static friction of 0.1. I start to push on that dog. Nothing happens with 50 newtons. Okay, I'm going to go up. I am going to go to 100 newtons. And when I hit return, I see I've got a little bit of force there. And so I'm actually going to be able to move the dog with 100 newtons. So what I'm going to do is write down 0.1 for my coefficient of static friction and 100 as the minimum amount of force to make the dog move. Okay, there we go. He's just barely moving with 100 newtons. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'll just clear these graphs. I'm going to go over. I'm going to change the coefficient of static friction from 0.1 to 0.2. And now I am going to go and apply some more force to him. Just enough to see if he moves. 150 newtons won't do it. I'm going to bump that up. 190 newtons. Does it do it? Is it enough? No, it's not enough. Okay. Lastly, applied force and acceleration. First thing I have to do though is I got to apply enough force to that dog just to get a moving to break static friction. Pause it. Now I'm going to change that to 100 newtons. That's just enough to start my investigation. I know that the acceleration is very close to 0, 0.0 meters per second squared. Okay, I'm going to apply 200 newtons and I've got an acceleration of 1 meter per second squared. I'm going to write that down and I'm going to continue